Lee Abamonte is a travel expert based in the United States. He joins us now from the state of Oregon. So, Lee, uh, you heard the numbers there. Has travel and tourism rebounded in China? Well, it's rebounding, that's for sure, much like the rest of the world, especially here in America. And, you know, China is a unique kind of economy, especially for tourism, because there's so many domestic tourists in China. And that is starting to pick up for sure. But restrictions in other countries, such as America or in Europe or in Australia, are going to limit the amount of international tourists. But the Chinese tourism economy will still be okay. Do you think that tourism saw a boost because people delayed or did not travel during Spring Festival? Well, I think that people having delayed travel for uh, any period of time in, in the last year, year and a half, uh, has made people want to get out and do things. And I think that, yes, it's, it's come into fruition now, especially as the weather starts to get better and the days start to get longer. Look, it's not just about booking your flights or hotels. We're seeing um, that shopping and spending on consumer goods while on these trips and even at home for some of these folks during the holiday season uh, was up. A lot of people wanting to buy things and spend money and eat well. What does that signal to you? Well, it signals to me that people have kind of money sitting on the sidelines because they haven't been spending their money on things really for the last year or, or, or more, obviously. And, you know, people are looking to get out and do things. And if the numbers are down and people are feeling healthy and confident about uh, traveling, they're going to start buying things and they're going to start traveling. It, it, it just goes hand in hand. And, it, and it's a great thing to see, to be honest, in China and around the world. Talk to us a little bit more about the economic impact of the holiday and how it will be viewed. Um, Post-holiday, people are starting to go home. Is this a preview of what we can see in other parts of the world this summer? We know that Europe, for example, is really trying to open up to foreigners. They're working on that right now. Is this just a, the beginning of what the summer travel season will look like? I think it is the beginning, and Europe is starting to open up to American vaccinated tourists right now, actually. Some countries are, are open now, and the European Union is set to announce a, a schedule for all vaccinated Americans specifically to go there. And I think that's a great thing, obviously, and hopefully the rest of the world will follow. And America is going, going to do the same uh, for European travelers and hopefully other travels from around the world. And once places like Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, Thailand, they really start to open again. The world will be open, and I, for one, could not be more excited. And I cannot wait to come back to China, by the way.